Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout uh, for Lottie Loves Paper. Um, I'm playing along with the weekly sketch um, and I'm using Echo Park Paper Little Dreamer Boy Collection. Um, so you can see the sketch there, it's like a big rainbow um, and uh, I considered using a rainbow paper uh, I don't think I actually have one, um, but I thought that I should maybe get one. Um, <laughs> but then I thought, no, I don't need to do that. I can make my own. Um, and I thought about using a cut file. Um, but then again, I thought, no, I, I don't really need to do that. I can probably manage to draw this myself. So I picked out four of the Little Dreamer Boy papers and uh, I cut, I first of all started off by drawing the smallest arc and I just drew it as an arc um, and uh, and then I cut it out and then I placed that one on top of the next paper and drew around it um, and I've carried on doing that in the orange and the red as well. So um, I was just trying to work out what order my colours should go in. Um, in case you were wondering, the reason I'm, um, I'm doing this in the middle of the paper, or at least... Um, at least not on the edge of the paper, um, is so that um, I um, can preserve the outside edge of the paper so that I can use it as a border uh, for another layout. Um, so that's I, that's quite often what I do. If I'm going to use part of the middle of the paper, then then that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll go up a little bit from the from the edges and uh, and cut in the middle. Um, so that then I've got the 12 by 12 outline that I can use as a border. So, uh, so yeah, so that's why I'm doing that. And that's why I'm not cutting through the paper. I'm piercing my scissors through, um, and cutting it out like that. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing that. So, okay. I now have my four pieces, um, and I'm going to layer those on top of each other like this. Um, and I have a rainbow and it's quite nice in the fact that it's, um, not traditional rainbow colors. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to you know do a boy layout uh, with a rainbow on it that's not the traditional rainbow colours, um, but goes really really well with this collection. So I just thought that uh, this was a nice idea to do a non-traditional rainbow. It's also non-traditional because um, it's doesn't have the middle section cut out of it, if that makes sense. So that blue bit should have an arch through it, but I decided not to do that and just left it as a solid kind of semicircle, as like a semi-oval, I suppose. Um, so I'm just sticking those layers on top of each other. Um, and uh, I'm going to distress the, well, I've already distressed the edges of all of the arcs and um, I'm going to um, raise that up on foam pads onto my background. However, I am going to do some stitching first. And the reason I thought I would do the stitching through the middle of each arc is because I thought it might be fun to turn this into a road. Um, so each arc could be a road rather than, um, rather than a rainbow. Uh, it could, well, or it could, it's still a rainbow, but the, um, I'm hoping to have some cars drive around it. That's, that's, where I was thinking with this. So I don't do that bit until the very end, um, but uh, that's what does end up happening. It's really cool actually, they look really cute. So right now I'm playing around with my um, white background and thinking that it's just too boring. Um, and I wondered if I could use one of the papers I'd already cut from um, as my background. And, and yes, I could, I could use this one, which is actually a perfect background. It's like a plaid, black, black, it's not black at all, blue and light blue check print um, and uh, I just trim that down to um, about 11 and a quarter inches square distressing the edges and I'm going to stick that to my white background and then the hole where I cut that rainbow arch from earlier is going to be covered up by my rainbow so all good the only thing that pains me is that I really love the helicopter print on the other side but you know these things happen I'm probably not going to use that as a full print anyway and there's plenty of helicopters in the embellishments so if I need a helicopter I can live with it and really he's not into helicopters he's into planes and and trains and cars so I think we can survive without the helicopters um, okay so I have my background stuck down and I'm just going to shake over the pattern paper background with um, my white shaker pen it's a Liquitex uh, acrylic marker lots of people ask me about it um, so um, I'm just shaking that all over the background and um, I'm now going to stick my rainbow onto my background in the middle um, with foam pad, so it's raised up as well. Um, now it's a bit smaller than the sketch. On the sketch, the, the rainbow is represented as being much bigger, um, but I quite like it shrunk down a little bit. 
Um, the only problem I have with that is that um, I don't have as much space to put my photos. Um, so I've ended up with uh, one photo down at the bottom left um, with a small journaling card square and then a bigger journaling card square at the top right of the rainbow. So I kind of switched those around because on the sketch, um, the two photos or two squares are together at the top of the rainbow on the right, whereas, uh, and, and a smaller single one down on the bottom left. So I've just switched that around uh, to make it work for the photo that I've got. Also the photo that I've got, um, he, there's like an area of white space or like a bit of the sofa actually um, at, on the uh, on there. So that covers it up well. Right, so at this point I have to apologize that I did a really stupid thing and I carried on filming without plugging my phone in um, to the charger and it goes off it stops filming if uh, my battery level gets below something really quite high, like 35%. Um, so rookie error there, silly me. I, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and unfortunately, I lost a whole load of footage. So um, we've had to skip forward now, basically, to the end of the layout. So um, you can see that I've added chipboard uh, clouds and stickers in the, at the top and an aeroplane flying overhead. Um, I've added a title using small little um, alphabet stickers from my stash. Um, I've fussy cut out some stars from the Little Dreamer collection and um, positioned those around the uh, two clusters. Um, I'm also now adding Bramble Fox um, stars and sequins as well. And I've fussy cut out a load of cars and vehicles to drive around the road. Um, so I'm so sorry that we lost some of the footage there, but I hope you um, got the idea of what I was doing. And you certainly saw me make the rainbow in the first place. So I hope that's okay. And sorry about that but um, enjoy the sketch challenge go over to the Lottie Loves Paper community group and join in over there um, and uh, yeah thank you very much for joining me that was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper with half a process video.